Hey crew, so one video a week I'm going to do, um, that's my goal for this year, a full workout for you guys, I'm not going to take the whole workout, you don't want to sit here for an hour, but what I want to do is, um, there's a lot of fitness people that I follow for inspiration, um, one of them is Erin Stern, she's a two time Olympia world champion, um, so she's on what that means is she's on stage competing at the Olympia and she's won that twice. Um, it's one of the biggest bodybuilding comps that you can do. So uh, she has a lot of videos on YouTube. So I'm also going to put a link to this video that I'm doing today of the video that she's done. So my point is she's in a commercial gym doing these workouts. What I want to do is translate that workout so you guys can do it at home with the equipment that you have so because not everyone has like a big setup or a cage like I've got at the moment um, you may just have some a couple of sets of dumbbells or kettlebells um, some bands um, so want to make it relatable for you guys at home so you can get fit at home if you can't make it to the, the workouts that we do here at Art Bentley Bentley so if you can't make it to our weighted nights, like a Tuesday, Thursday night, you can do weights at home. You know, Metapower is fantastic to build muscle, but if you want something extra and you want to see more muscle this year, follow along with these workouts and try and get them in at home. So this one today that I'm doing, uh, she's labelled it Lean Legs, so she's increasing the volume. And she's supersetting exercises, so she's putting two exercises together back to back, then taking a rest. And what that does as well is helps to increase your cardio without actually doing cardio, without actually going out for a run. It helps to increase your heart rate, so you get, so you burn a few more calories without having to do extra cardio. Um, so her set, she's doing three lots of each superset. She's working at least 12 reps, so 12 to 20 reps. If you can do more than 20 reps, you need a heavier weight. Um, and then a 45 to 60 second break. Now, if you wanna be serious about your weights, you need to time your breaks. Because you may, one, you may not be getting enough rest in between, and then you go back into the exercise again and you're, and you're sore and you can't perform. Or two, you're taking too long of a break and you won't get the results that you want. You may think, oh yeah, that was only a minute and it may in fact be two or three minutes and you've lost that cardio burn effect on the workouts. So the first exercise that she does um, is a machine squat. So there's, go to the video and have a look if you're interested in what she does. And she supersets that with a stiff leg deadlift. If you've been to her weighted nights, you know that you can do a stiff leg deadlift without machines. So you can either do it with a bar or you can do it with dumbbells. So instead of a machine squat, you can just grab a set of dumbbells or kettlebells and hold them to the side and squat. Or if you do have a bar but you don't have a squat rack, like I have had bars for quite a while without an actual squat rack, you can do a landmine squat or if the weight is light enough and you're strong enough, up over the shoulders and squat that way. So I'm going to demo both of those exercises for you now. So this is superset number one. So without cutting off my head too much, let me move the camera back a little bit because we are cutting off my head. All right, so exercise number one, your alternative, a landmine squat. If you have a bar, you would hook this into the corner somewhere. I normally just put my bar outside and drive it into the ground. Okay? And you can squat with your bar this way. Alright? Coming down nice and low and push back up. Standard squat. Alright, so as low as you can. Let me grab my other bar. If you have a bar, that you can hike up and place on the shoulders, then squat, 12 to 20 reps, or a set of dumbbells. So 
So dumbbells to the side and squat. Okay. And you can still get similar results without the equipment at the gym. Now stiff leg deadlift. So feet about shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees. Alright, set up the back and the core. So a nice taut, tight corset. Come down, stiff leg, bring it down as low as possible. Nice flat back, drive through the glutes, hamstrings back up. Okay? So that's it done with the dumbbells. Erin does it with a bar. As long as the weight is enough for you to get 12 to 20 reps out and you're working hard. Okay, reverse lunge. Erin does this with the bar up in front of her. So you're weighted up in the front here. If you have a bar at home, it's going to be exactly the same as what she does in the video. Okay? and alternates. Nice and low. You don't want your knees slamming into the ground. If you don't have a bar, use your dumbbells or kettlebells. Reverse. Lunge. The second exercise is a good morning. Again, you don't need a machine for a good morning. Erin uses a bar. You want to feel like you're sitting back, hinging at the hips through, hinging, not squatting. And again, squeeze through the glutes and hamstrings and back up. Okay? Don't overextend when you get to the top. If you only have a dumbbell. Okay, strong back, squeeze, and back up. So that's superset number two. Superset number three is a cable goblet squat and a Nordic curl. Cable goblet squat. You don't need cables to do a goblet squat. The weight is just under the chin, crew. Okay? Feet hip width apart. Again, squat down as low as possible, drive through the heels. 12 to 20 reps. Now, Nordic curl, you can hook your feet underneath the lounge chair for this. Go to the video and watch. She has someone pushing on her toes or her calves. And the Nordic curl is where you come forward, squeeze through the hamstrings and come back up. Now, I normally hook myself under the lounge chair, but we're in the garage today. I don't have the lounge chair here, okay? And I don't have anywhere in here to put my feet under. So you can use a fifth ball to help balance yourself so you don't face plants. So you want to keep a plank position here. And then squeeze through the hamstrings to pull back up, okay? Nice, slow, and controlled. Should be very difficult. And pull back up. Now, if you don't get enough feeling out of that, you can't come down low enough. You can do that hamstring curls like you've done plenty of time. On the ball. Push. Up onto the shoulders. Roll in. And out. Okay, you're working the same muscle. In and out. So that's superset number three. And then Erin just finishes off with calves. So it's a full leg workout. What was I going to say? So she uses a calf raise machine. We don't need a calf raise machine either. You've got the ground, and she just does a burnout. So make sure it's a weight that's heavy enough. So this wouldn't be heavy enough for me. I could stand here all day and do this weight. And another way to make it harder for yourself, guys is sometimes I use the edge of the garage, there's a little lip, or you get one of the steps that I've got. Oh, I've got again. You've got one of the little steps, or 
some weights. You've got plates laying around. Okay. So you've just got your toes. Then come down and back up. And back up. Now if you're at home, try and work out their foot every so often. Strengthens the toes. You've just got your feet to rely on, not your shoes to rely on, and spread all those toes out into the mats. It'll help with the exercises. Okay, so that is pretty simple and very effective if you use the right weight. Where you're going to stagnate is if you're not progressing through your weights. So make sure you're always pushing yourself with your weights or with your rep ranges. Okay, crew, that's week one workout done. Um, I think I'll stick with Erin for a little while, do a couple of months worth of Erin's workouts, show you some different stuff. Next week it might be an upper body workout, um, maybe back will do, and I'll show you how to convert gym training for home. All right, bye for now from 8-Bit.